Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie Costa, if you don't know already. Um, in this video, I'm just doing like a get ready with me and little chit chat. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. All right, so while I'm waiting for my grandma to get home, it's gonna go ahead and put some eye primer and I'll do my eyebrows. This is what I use right now for my eye primer. Um, I don't really like it because it's tinted and it is like not my skin tone mm, whatsoever. And also it takes like a while to dry and that is a real bitch, you know. Ah, she's home. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming. All right. Groceries put up. Let's get back to it. And for my brows, I just use what I always use, mainly because it takes forever to get through this thing, is uh, the Benefit Cabral in the shade 4. So if you haven't figured it out, I am in Texas for winter break. I'm staying right now at my grandparents' house. And then eventually I'll go to my, my best friend's house in Katy, and then I will stay with my mom for a little bit, and then I will come back to San Antonio. So guys, this semester of nursing school Kind of put me a little bit through an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> I don't think I've ever cried about a test grade until like the end of November. But it was like a good cry this time because I had been getting 70s for the first like three tests and it was really pissing me off. Um, but as soon as I needed a good grade to get up my average, because at my nursing school, you have to have a 74 exam average to pass the class. And so on my fourth test, I got an 86. And I found out while I was in the shower and I just started bawling my eyes out because like I really needed it. I think I needed like at least an 82 or something. But the breakdown isn't in there. <laughs> well, I guess the crying does but I needed I thought I needed like at least like a 75 on the final exam but it turned out turns out that I needed less than that so waiting anxiously for the final exam grade it comes in and I got a 71 I just can't get out of getting 70s it's really freaking annoying and when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I didn't pass. I don't think I passed. And so just in case I downloaded like a grade calculator, like an average calculator. And it said I had a average of 73.7 and the exam passing grade is a 74 <laughs> and I was like please tell me that they're gonna round this grade because I'm about to lose it anyways turns out that I think they did round it because I got like my attendance and I got like my final grade my final grade is that it was actually a it was a solid B but my exam average was obviously Almost a 74, but not quite a 74. But so for a while, I was kind of freaking out. I'm texting like my friend who had to repeat last semester and I was asking her her, her experience of like, how did you know if you passed? How did you know if you failed? And it turns out like, I guess I wouldn't have seen my final grade yet if I, um, I wouldn't have seen my final grade yet if I did fail. So I barely made it through 
And so I did try a different method with studying. I guess I need to find maybe a different method. I don't know. I think I would, I don't know. Like, I feel like I don't have test anxiety, but then again, maybe I do, because I feel like there are some questions that if it wasn't on the test, I probably would have got right. But because, I don't know, I, I just would sometimes go with like my gut answer and sometimes that's not always right. But anyways, yeah, now it's winter break and I'm enjoying it thoroughly, relaxing, taking advantage of the time that I have to just sit on my ass and play Sims and the new Nancy Drew game. Yes, I know I'm lame. Better than studying for six hours or more a day. Oh, and this is just to like sharpen up my brows. It's a, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's a, by Cella Beauty. Um, ivory lace highlighter. But I just use it to kind of sharpen them up a little bit instead of using. Okay, so I got to San Antonio. When did I get here? Sunday, which was December 15th. And I will be here until... I'll be in Texas until like the middle of January. Then I'll fly back to New York and then go back home to Connecticut, which I'm definitely enjoying my time here away from the snow. Um, hopefully my flights don't get canceled <laughs> um, again in January because it's January, February kind of seem like they're like the worst winter months so hopefully I picked a good day to come back and then I start my last semester of junior year on January 21st I think and next semester I'm going to be what we call med surge 3 and what is it leadership I think that's what the um, class is called this semester I was in med search too, and that was um, like post-op, pre-op, OR um, units. I'm not 100% sure what units will be on for med search three. I could have did OB and peds next semester, but I've heard it's like better to do med search three first and then do OB in the fall. So I went ahead and did that. I am really looking forward to going into OB though because that's what I think I want to be like my specialty. I want to do labor and delivery nursing. For primer, I'm using the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. It's at its very end so it is sometimes really complicated to get a little bit out. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eye makeup before I do my foundation. Just cause there is a little bit sometimes of fallout in the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, collab eyeshadow palettes. All right, I'm wearing this sweater to go out to the mall. So uh, don't wanna do any extreme colors. So I think I'm gonna stick with like this top row on the Conspiracy palette because it's pretty neutral. I'm gonna go in the shade My Pills just to set my primer. And for my transition shade, I'm gonna mix Tanacon and Diet Root Beer, which is these two like brown colors. And I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. Now, I am going to go into the shade Spiraling, which it kind of looks like a, well, it has a little bit of like glitter in it, it's like this really dark brown, and I'm going to use that on my outer corners. I 
So it's really nice being here for Christmas. Um, last year I went to my cousin's house in Connecticut for Christmas, um, which I love that too, but um, I'm so used to having Christmas here. And also like it's Texas. And so we have tamales like every Christmas. And my grandma gets them from this, um, I don't know where she gets it from, but they are so freaking good. I think she gets like the chicken tamales and like the, I think it's like chicken jalapeno tamales, which they're not that spicy, but they are amazing. And this year, like I told everybody, like, cause I'm not working at the moment. I was like, the only people that are getting presents are, or the only person that's getting presents is my, um, <laughs> my new cousin, my cousin's baby boy. He is four months now. He'll be five months by the time I leave. And he's so freaking cute, so chunky, I love it. I don't think he quite likes me yet, <laughs> but we're getting there. All right, so now I'm gonna put the shade, just a theory. It's like a light brown um, shimmer shade. And put that on the inner and kind of on the mid of my eye. I'm gonna use the same brush. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for my eye makeup. Once I have my foundation on, I'll put underneath my eyes. All right. So, I think this is going to be a quick video because Grandpa's kind of rushing me. That's why I'm kind of busy. <sighs> and for my foundation, I'm still using the Josen brand Vibrancy foundation. Um, I thought I liked it, but I don't know lately for some reason. It just almost kind of feels drying. But if you hear a noise, my grandma's vacuuming so just bear with me um another product that i thought i was might like the only issue before was that it's a little too dark um but it's the first aid beauty right is this first aid i think so hello fab bendy avocado concealer and i think it kind of clings to my dry spot so I've really only been putting them under my eyes because my dry spots are like my chin. Uh, for powder, I'm using the Milk Makeup Soft and Blur powder. I believe that's what it is called. Powder over all over my face. Uh, spread it out. We're in a note, but I kind of like the sweater thinking about maybe I'll just wear it for Christmas or I'm going to JC Penney's in a little bit so maybe I can find something there to wear we do Christmas on like Christmas Eve or we do like both but we have like the tamales on like Christmas Eve and I think we kind of do like a almost like a Thanksgiving dinner on Christmas Day but anyways off topic do any of y'all still go to like the department store like you know how there's a thing about Amazon's kind of like taking over. Nobody goes to the stores anymore. That's why so many stores that have been around for so long are going out of business. It's because everybody's buying everything like online. Like for me, I like going to the stores. Sometimes I will order online just because it is more convenient. But I do like going to the store still and actually trying on the clothes there before I buy it. So it just, it's kind of sad to see all these stores closed down. All right, so now I'm going to put that Diet Root Beer shade underneath my eye. I also put a little bit of the dark brown spiraling shade under the eye as well. Are you talking to me? Let's go. There's enough plastic surgery. Let's go. Okay, hold on. Huh? 
Can you give me like 10 minutes? What? Don't you just love when you're rushed and then no one tells you what time to go? So, I'll finish this video, finish my makeup after I get back, and I'm not going anywhere. Whew, I feel my blood pressure just spiking. Mm -hmm. People got money. You know, we should be happy though, in a way. Well, well, people got money. And that means Texas is doing well. They brought bigger stores than the most Yeah, but Texas is doing well. And when you see people out spinning, All right? So I'm just popping in for my trip with my grandparents. Those are them walking over there right now. This is the uh, restaurant, or I think they're a restaurant, but this is where we get our tamales every year for Christmas Eve. It's on Nacogdoches Road in San Antonio. So if you live in this area. Highly recommend this tamales place. It is so freaking good. Anyways, see you soon. <laughs> All right, three hours later, and I'm back to finish what I should have did three hours ago. Okay. The last thing we did was my inner corner highlight. I need to put on some bronzer. So right now I'm just using a Tarte Hotel Harris bronzer it's a little too darn for me but I've had it for a while and I just want to get rid of it without throwing it away on the plus side I got some candy out of the trip and a couple bras so whatever <laughs> three hours in my foundation doesn't look horrible I mean the pimples though are like definitely seeping through but i don't know i don't know what it is about that foundation that i liked it before it took me a little bit to like it but now it's just like i wonder if it is like my skin just like the breakouts i thought it would like cool off because of stress but i feel like i have more pimples than i did before Alright, so I have a new blush from Milani. It's the Tea Rose Powder Blush. I forgot my blushes at home, so I had to go to the store and get something. And I haven't tried these out. I don't think so. So. Alright, so last thing to do is highlights which for this I have an old Kylie palette that the bronzer is pretty much gone but like there's still a shit ton of highlight this is the skinny dip this is from a few years ago I think this is before I moved to Connecticut that I got this Does anybody else, do, do you really like throw away like the powdered items that you have after like it's expiration date? Like what is this supposed to be expired? I don't even know if it says on here. It would, it would probably say like two years or something. But honestly, I feel like powders don't expire like liquid stuff does. So I hoard all like the eyeshadows and they work just as good as... They did when I first got them. Now when it's like lipsticks or mascaras and stuff, yeah, I do throw away a lot of that stuff when they're over at the expiration date. But if it still works good, then I ain't throwing it out. And palettes are hella expensive. And I can't believe I forgot to set my face before I left, but I was in a hurry and like, <sighs> yo, I'll, if you couldn't tell, I was pretty freaking mad, but I'm all, I'm, I cooled off since then. This is the Skin & Co Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. Something I think I got in BoxyCharm, I think. And it's okay, I mean, it's like, not my favorite thing, but it does do the job. 
I'm the worst reviewer when it comes to products. I'm like, it's okay, it does the job. All right, and lastly for my eyes, I have mascara. So I'm gonna put CoverGirl Lash Blast on my top lashes. And then for my bottom lashes, I'm using the Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. Dog, will you stop? <sighs> All right, I think that's it for my makeup, even though now I'm not going anywhere. All right, so that's it for this video. I know it's not much, but I haven't been doing anything special since coming to Texas. Um, maybe I might vlog Christmas, but I usually like to live in the moment during those times. And I feel like also I can't do too many tutorial videos unless unless anybody wants like multiple tutorial videos on reusing the mini controversy or the conspiracy palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Shane Dawson. If you want that, you can comment that. I'll, I have no problem doing that, but that's the only palettes that I brought with me. So yeah. All right. So, okay. That is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.